What's up, Jake Asianers? So we just got here to Morris Arboretum. It's a 92 acre garden. We're walking into the Pumpkin Glow. Got the tickets. So we're gonna see a bunch of carved jack-o'-lantern. Rise and shine, Jaycationers. It is a beautiful day here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We're staying here at the study at University City. It's a beautiful hotel. I had a great night's sleep, and now I'm ready to go and check out the town. First up, we head to Morris Arboretum. On the ride over, we got to enjoy Philadelphia's beautiful skyline and the famous Boathouse Row. If you haven't watched my previous videos on Philadelphia, please subscribe to my channel and check out past videos on Boathouse Row and more main tourist attractions around Philadelphia. Just about a 35 minute drive outside Center City is the neighborhood of Chestnut Hill where the Morris Arboretum is located. Admission is $20 for adults, $13 for kids ages 3 to 17, and free for kids 3 and under. It's definitely a hidden gem especially if you're a tourist visiting Philly and wanting more of a nature feel. What's up Jake Asianer? So we just got here to Morris Arboretum. It's a 92 acre garden slash waterfall slash fountains um, spot here in Chestnut Hill just outside of Philly. Um, it's called the Garden District of Philadelphia and you can venture around the 92 acres and check out all the cool gardens and fountains and whatnot. So we're chilling in the bird's nest right now. These uh, eggs are about to hatch. A couple of pterodactyls from prehistoric times. <laughs> What's so great about the Morris Arboretum is that you can take your family out here for a nice weekend stroll, take the kids out. So much space, so much free space, especially if you're living in the city. And you know, it feels like you get to breathe a lot of trees here so there's a lot more oxygen and yeah it's just nice and peaceful great place to stroll around i would suggest setting aside about two to three hours of your day to explore this beautiful arboretum so we're actually here at the perfect time of year it's when the seasons are starting to change and summer is becoming fall it's already the fall so the leaves are starting to turn brown and it just has this you know festive harvest type feel to it so you know we're about to enter the halloween season thanksgiving season so starting to get those holiday vibes coming oh, there she is. There he is. this is morris arboretum sculpture garden this woven maze full of vines is called the loop-de-loop -loop. it's a great area for your kids to run around and play and for adults to take pictures Now made it to uh, Justin Timberlake's cabin since he's the man of the woods. <laughs> it's right here. Nice little mansion in the middle of Chestnut Hill in <laughs> Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is your tour, bro. It's about the size of my studio apartment. <laughs> I hear yelling. We hear yelling or like a choo-choo train. I think it's a choo-choo train. But we're trying to find these scarecrows right now. But this place is so huge, we don't have a map. Oh, there it is, choo-choo trains. It's Mr. Rogers. <laughs> 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 
This beautiful garden railway is seasonal and it even has a conductor to take care of all the miniature tracks and trains around the garden. We found the scarecrows. There's this scarecrow contest that families will create their own custom scarecrow, put it up here in the gardens, and people vote for it. And I ran into the family that put the uh, John Lennon scarecrow together, so we're gonna have to find that. And I actually see, what's his name, from Queen, Freddie Mercury. My vote would have gone to the Freddie Mercury scarecrow. It looks like this year's contest had a ton of musicians. So Lady Gaga, that's the Prince one. There's John Lennon. It's really cool to see families take the time out of their day to put great effort into these scarecrows. They even pay homage to the King Elvis Presley and Steven Tyler of Aerosmith. Scarecrow City. There he is, Freddie Mercury Hay. <laughs> Looks like we got a huge tree. This is like the tree that Negan got his uh, throat slit in Walking Dead by Rick Grimes to end the war between the Saviors and Alexandria. This has to be my single most favorite drink when I'm in the East Coast, Nantucket Nectars. I don't think I was vlogging when I had Nantucket Nectars while I was living in uh, Florida, but yeah, this is my favorite. All right guys, so that's it from Morris Arboretum. We're headed back towards the city in Philly. But this is one of the hidden gems that people outside of Philadelphia you may not know about. Bring your family here, spend the day, check out the gardens, the fountains, the scarecrows if it's that time of year too. Next on our trip, we made our way over to the Fairmount Park area where the Philadelphia Zoo and Jack's Pumpkin Glow are located. Parking at the Glow will cost you $5. So we're here at the Glow, Pumpkin Glow, so we're gonna see a bunch of carved jack-o'-lanterns and lit up pumpkins and What is that turning into? Uh, an octopus. Okay. This is the body, this is the eye. Okay. All right. the tentacles all the way around. Yeah. Like the That's cool. How long did it take you to do that love one over there? Maybe a half hour. How long have you been carving for? Uh, maybe six years. Six years, wow. Yeah, but like not just pumpkins. I have a bachelor's degree in sculpture, so I have like experience with a lot of other materials. Nice. Um, but pumpkins is a fun seasonal like, treat to work with. I've been with the Glow for two years. Okay. I'm one of the main uh, artists with the company. Oh, yeah. There's one other, and we design all of the shows that happen right now. And how many of the pumpkins that we're going to look at tonight have you done? Uh, 70%. <laughs> wow. What's your favorite that's in there? Uh, I recently added uh, an art pumpkin series of female athletes. Okay. Uh, and I think Serena Williams came out. Yeah, really, really good. Nice. Okay. Uh, you can see like all of her muscle definition. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she looks like a badass. So. Okay, we'll have to keep that. an eye out for it. How many pumpkins do you think you carved in this entire season? Uh, so far, uh, 2,000 so far. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay, enjoy the show, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Hi right, guys, so we're walking into the Pumpkin Glow. Got the tickets. Mike's got some beers, man, so I need to grab them. I drank mine all. We gotta go get another one. Yeah, 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 I'm about to go get another You wanna go get another one? Broken longer, man. Let's go do it, bro. All right. all right, guys, so we're in to the Jack's Glow. Walking with our blogger friends here. Let me go check out all the different sculptures that she, uh, that the, the sculptor that we just talked to, we're gonna go check out all her stuff. Shout out to Lindsay. She is hands down the most talented pumpkin carver that I have ever met. Tickets start at $16.99 for children and $22.99 for adults. Make sure to note that you must purchase these tickets online in advance and that they are timed tickets. 
you can also purchase anytime tickets for an extra cost of $27.99. The Glow usually runs all October. The Glow is definitely a family friendly event and is not at all scary. So don't worry about any unexpected ghouls or goblins sneaking up on you. Each section of the Glow has different themes. Give yourself about 45 minutes to an hour to slowly enjoy all the glowing displays. Yeah, this is amazing. This is really cool. I'm enjoying this right now. So far we see dinosaurs, bugs, celebrities, famous couples. Now check this out. Bad news guys, it's pouring rain. We're starting to, starting to pour rain, so we kinda gotta get out of here and get in some shelter. Well, the rain was more of a light drizzle. Towards the end of the glow, there was a cemetery display poking fun at the New England Patriots. In 2018, the Philadelphia Eagles drew up the Philly Special, a trick play that led them to a Super Bowl victory under the leadership of quarterback Big Nick. The final displays at the Glow featured prominent representations of the city of Philadelphia. From Ben Franklin, to the Liberty Bell, to Rocky, and the show Always Sunny in Philadelphia, the Glow pays homage to the city of brotherly love. What's your favorite fall activity in Philly? Comment below and subscribe to Jaycation for more content in Philadelphia. So that was the glow here in Fairmont Park in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's really cool. I'm going to link it down below. Really awesome. Jack-o'-lanterns, pumpkins, different types of themes, sports, movies, everything you can think of. Definitely recommend this.